FIFA claim none of 2,700 World Cup drug tests has come back positive. More than 2,700 doping tests have already been carried out during the World Cup in Russia Dash with FIFA claiming none has yet produced a positive result. The world's governing body claim all of the 736 players attending the tournament have been tested at least once during the course of the group stages. At each of the 48 matches played in the 16 still scheduled between now and July 15, four players have been tested, with each sample being sent to a World Anti-Doping Association WADA, laboratory in Switzerland. But so far, FIFA insists there have been no anti-doping violations during football's summer showpiece. The news comes after Sports Mail's Nick Harris revealed new evidence of state-sponsored doping and cover-ups the world governing body have buried. The Mail on Sunday last week disclosed that FIFA had documentary proof of institutional cover-ups in Russian football 18 months ago, but have apparently done nothing to hold Russia's FA or sports ministry to account. The scale of the corruption was huge with investigators saying 155 Russian football doping cases they uncovered were the tip of the iceberg and at least 34 of those produced paperwork, testimony and other corroboration they felt would give FIFA a good chance of formal disciplinary proceedings. FIFA claim they have been actively looking at the issue for more than a year. But they have yet to prosecute a single case, publicly at least, issuing only bland statements that investigations are ongoing. Before the event began they said there was insufficient evidence to prosecute any of the current 23-man Russia squad for doping violations. Nevertheless, as Sports Mail revealed, there is strong evidence that elite Russian footballers were beneficiaries of widespread state-sponsored doping and cover-ups, and were part of the scandal that shamed Russia and got them banned from the Olympics.